Today we're going to look at the features of one of our free virtual manipulatives available on the Didax website. You'll find a link to these tools right on our home page, as well as some free activities that use the manipulatives. Let's find out what the algebra tiles can do. From my virtual manipulatives page, I'm going to go down to the bottom here to the algebra tiles. I click on this to launch the tool. By default, the algebra tiles show uh, this equation mat. I can change the setting here uh, to what I want to show. There's an option to hide everything, which makes that all go away. There's also a corner frame option uh, that I can use to show uh, to model multiplication of uh, binomials um, and other terms. So some handy tools here to use with the algebra tiles. I'm going to go ahead and turn these all off just while we explore what's going on. Now the algebra tiles I can drag out just like many of my other manipulatives I drag them out. Um, if I want to rotate these if I put my mouse near the corner I can click on that and it will rotate the algebra tiles so I can look at different models do some different things with them. I have a whole variety of algebra tiles here. I have the x squared tiles, I have x tiles, I have unit tiles, and I can use these to model different problems uh, all the way from integers up to quadratic equations and binomials. Uh, the other things I have over here on the side, I have my eraser tool. Of course if I click on that and then click on any of the algebra tiles I can uh, get them to go away one at a time. And of course the last thing I have is this reset tool down here, the red circle. If I click on that, it takes me back to the starting point and I can start all over with a new problem. Thanks for watching and remember that you can access all our free virtual manipulatives on our website www.didax.com